Hey folks, it's Jay from Dumpster Diving Life. Well, please, if you like these videos, like, subscribe, comment, share. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much. I am trying to do something with this video channel. One day, maybe it'll be something. For right now, it's just my baby. Well, I tell you what, this is my workshop. Up until just recently, it was a glorified sword shed. But I finally got motivated and have decided to reclaim it as my shop. So the wife was at the rental properties today and yesterday working on some things and left me here at the house with the tribe and i at least got one thing done i put this last section of pegboard up this four by four i hung up the pegs just so i know what i have my young children helped came in and we had a good time then i had to go to the hardware store to find some bolts to attach this guy to this bench this guy has been in my workshop in my attic for over a year because I had no place to put him. I couldn't even get to these benches. Like I said, it was just a storage shed. And it was frustrating. It was really frustrating. So I had to go find some bolts. I went and found them. Went to the hardware store and found them. So as you know, if I'm going on the road... I've got to go diving. And I'll tell you what. I really had no intentions. I didn't really feel up to it. Really wasn't motivated to do it. But that all changed when I hit lows today. And I say today, that was March 29th, 2020. This is now March 30th, 2020 almost 1 a.m. The tribe is asleep and this is the best time to make the video. So let's start. We'll start over here. You guys have seen me pull out the snap frames from Bells. A lot of snap frames. Well recently Lowe's had a rollaway dumpster and they had their own snap frames. I pulled about 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 10. I've yet to sell any of them. Several of them are damaged. Then I find these. These are repair kits for those snap frames. And these are the sizes that I need. So now I'm going to do my best to repair some of those and see if I can get them sold. Now a lot of this stuff was found in a skiff or a dumpster that was full of sawdust. And I mean full, probably a good foot of it. But after I pulled these guys out, I kept looking. Now the whole motivation to go to that skiff was to find my lumber. That's the whole reason I went. This is my, the wood that I sell is craft and hobby wood and it sells well. This is a, I believe it's a cedar piece. It's a piece of cedar. And this is a uh, pine. They all come in about 40 inch pieces. And this is what I was after. Until I stumbled across these. Then, as I kept digging, I stumbled across these. Now I have no use for these really. But I do know one thing. These guys are expensive very expensive not only those these guys here and they come with the nuts most of them come with the nuts too which is really unusual not to mention tons and tons of screws that's a concrete screw expensive so i kept on digging and i'll show you what i got We'll start over here, left to right, and I'll try to keep it as comprehensible as possible. 
plastic sheeting over here, not a biggie, not a big deal. But it's rare when I find them rolled up or folded and in such good shape. Usually this stuff, I find this all the time, but it's usually shredded and in poor shape. And I leave it behind. But in this case, I found some good stuff. Found a little bungee here. He's seen better days, as you can tell. But I can still use the hooks. Moving on. Extension cords. Found a shorty. He's about a six footer. But also found a big one. He's about a 50 footer. I've already tested them. They both work. A nice find. Found the saw blade. Checked him as good as I could. If I can pick him up, there he is. A little seven and a half inch. Looks good to me. Almost new. No cracks, no teeth chipped, nothing. Easily a ten dollar blade. Off over here. A bucket of mud. Or a little tub of mud. This stuff is expensive. It's for it's a patch and repair compound for drywall. Now, at first glance, you're gonna say, well, that's ruined. No, just scrape that layer off, that top layer. You got yourself a perfectly good bucket of mud. As I said, that's expensive. These fasteners here, I have no idea. Never seen anything like this. I'm not sure what they're used for, but I'll bet you I'll find a use for them. Got some joint compound knives, two of them. This one here, Warner, know it well. This one over here, never heard of him. Marshalltown. But they're in pristine condition. So little use, the labels are still there. Along with this paint mixer, a large one, a good one. And back over here, I love these guys. These stand up, storable dust pans. I already have one or two, but I can't help but have more. Those things are really handy. Now these items, as I see, understand it, are all used, no doubt. And I believe they were used by mainly the employees. And they have been I guess told to discard them and maybe they're getting more in so yeah slightly used but still very very good shape yet another miter box I only have probably about five or six of these most of them I did find other places so uh, yeah and miter box of course comes with a miter saw there you go speaking of saws these, I believe, I'm almost certain, were part of the lumber area where the customers would use these saws to cut their own lumber or trim in the store, or they'd have the employees at farm. These saws are in still perfectly good condition. Hack saws probably were in the metal area. Used to cut metal. Got two of those. This one here, not sure. This is a more of a, tr a tree trimming saw. One of those angled saws, long blade, long blade for reaching higher places and cutting the smaller branches. This is a Corona. I kid you not. I looked it up. The cheapest I saw him online, new, $40. The rest of these go anywhere from $10 to $20. Depend what website you go to. Moving on. Linux. This is a drywall saw. And uh, it folds in into that little slot. And it comes about that size. Pretty neat. Got another fixed blade here, a task force, perfectly good teeth, excellent. 
have jigsaw blade still in the package. I'll take it. I've got a jigsaw. Found some glue. Half full, half empty, depending on your perspective. Still soft, still usable. A couple of utility knives and some shims. Now this is interesting. A big old chisel. One and a quarter inch. Stanley Fat Max. I've been, oddly enough, I've been wanting a large chisel. I've been looking for one. Was going to buy one. Well, today I found one. Odd how that works out. Now, if any of you guys know what this is, or maybe, I don't know, but it intrigued me. Uh, this here part rolls, turns. I can't do it one handed. But you turn this, and it moves the shaft inside here. Now it's missing a piece, or pieces. I'm sure, but I just couldn't pass it up. It made me curious. So if you, any of you folks know what that is, please let me know. And let me know what I'm missing. Moving on, screws, fasteners, nails. These guys here, I can always use and I always need. I do woodworking often. I work on the rental properties often. These are really, really expensive fasteners. This box here about half full, a little, little less. Very nice screws. I looked some of these up just out of curiosity. These here go for about $12 a box. This is an unopened box. That's nice. The same with this one, pretty full, $10 box. This one's about half full, same thing, about $10. Moving on, Fiskers. I think we all know Fiskers. These loppers, they are used as well. As you can see, just a little bit of wear and no damage on the blades. Price these out at about twenty dollars. Nice. Now moving on to the favorite find of the day. This big guy here, a Craftsman shop vac or wet vac, whichever you want to call it. He was sitting upside down in this dumpster. Still had the hose attached, and as I dug through. I found all the accessories. Some of these were already inside it. Some of the smaller pieces were inside here. It's empty, except for just a little bit of sawdust. The filter's still there. Everything's still there. It even came with two extra filter holders. Go figure. Coming on down, why would I take broken, a broken broom? With a broken, or a broom with a broken handle? And a shovel with a broken handle. Remember, guys, I've said if you do, if you dive on regular basis, you're going to find handles, full, complete handles. These are easily replaced. Easily replaced. Put a new handle on these, and you got brand new broom or brush and a brand new shovel. Lastly, coming on down, this little guy here. It's uh, really not cold in here at all, but I wanted to test it, so he's been running for a good couple hours. This is a Polonis Pol space heater. Not very big at all, but I tell you what, it got this little shop in here pretty toasty. I've already taken out our large, my two large oil-filled generator type heaters because I just don't need them. Um, and I'll probably have to store him here pretty soon. And, uh, but he'll definitely be used in the future. But I sure like it. And I'll tell you what, it works like a charm. Of course, I'm gonna clean him up before I put him away. 
I can't stand dirty, filthy tools. Now, I didn't tell you, or I didn't show you, the proof is in the pudding. When I said this guy works, if you have headphones on or earbuds on, you might want to turn them down because it's going to get loud. So, here you go. That's enough of that. As I said, it's already past midnight. I don't want to wake up the neighbors or my tribe. So there you go, folks. I'll tell you what. I wanted to make this video for two reasons. It's a show and tell. But I don't like making show and tell because it seems like bragging. But the main reason I'm making this is for motivation. Primarily for myself, but hopefully it motivates you as well. But quite honestly, as much as I want this channel to do well and do good things with it, I spend a lot of time. I have. 351 subscribers and almost 80 videos but my motivation has been waning lately I just haven't had the drive lately to do the diving that I like to do I'll tell you what today's haul changes all that this has re-energized me re-motivated me and reminded me while I do this all of these items are going to stay here with me. I usually try to give some away or sell some, but in this case, I can use them. And any tool I can see, I can use. That's why I like them on the wall. As the old saying goes, tools that go into drawers or bags or boxes go there to die. So this is why I have it the way I do. These guys will be spread out between here at the house and my rental properties. And believe me, they will get used. They will not go to waste. And it's a good feeling knowing that I have kept these guys from wasting away in some landfill. And I hope this motivates you. If you do currently dive, and are getting frustrated because you haven't had any luck and you haven't found much of anything, take heart. When you hit a haul like this, when you have a hit like this, this is the type of find that will change your mind and it will completely addict you to dumpster diving. It did me over almost two years ago and this one has just really re-energized me. As I said, my interest and my motivation was sorely waning until today. So Lowe's has become the champion lately of my dumpster diving finds. Not only are they good for the flowers and the plants that I've shown you and the little strips of lumber that I sell as hobby wood, now, you've got a good chance of finding tools, good tools. If they're doing this at my lows, if they're dumping their employee and, and customer tools that's been used in my store, they're most likely dumping in them at your store. So what does that mean? That means I just gave you a hot tip, another hot tip from Jay at Dumpster Diving Life. So, again, if this doesn't motivate you, I don't know what does. So, this is it, folks. If you like this, this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. If you have, thank you very, very much. It is greatly appreciated. Okay, you know the routine, folks. Always wear your gloves. Be safe. 
keep what you need, sell what you must, and give what you can. Keep on diving.